Kaito versus. Oh, I'm sorry. Eto actually rocks uh, Chip, not not a uh, not Kai. What did I say? Anyways, let me drink some tea. Good to have you here as well, Zenet. It's a great pleasure to have you here. And Karu, Yoroshiko Nishimasu. Okay, so first match is going to be Eto versus I'm Help. So Eto rocking that mean chip. He's been a recurrent a member of the Brojo Cup, a very strong chip player. Versus uh, none other than I'm Help, extremely strong Eno player coming straight from Korea. He's been doing pretty well in the tournament, uh, all things considered. And uh, yeah, he's rocking the uh, <laughs> he's rocking the Daru Eno collar by the way, which is really really slick. Really like it a lot. And uh, yeah, what we are going to do right now is... Wow, <laughs> very nice walk from I'm Help not getting hit by the overhead. And uh, here we go with I'm Help taking the first round with the 2k into the 2d. Very nicely done. On to the second round. Let's see if Eto can bring things back. Nothing is over yet, obviously. Eto not going for a follow-up. Wow, using the Gamma Blade. A very nice block on the... A sultry performance, a little bit too far right there from my from my hell to hit Eto right on the nose. Yo, what else I be on Korean Eno? This is familiar. <laughs> the other car, <laughs> the other Korean uh, Eno, <laughs> for the matter. Anyways, very strong Korean Eno, by the way. Thank you very much for the uh, follow, the last six, and welcome to the Brownjos. Oh, some chip action, of course. But right now, yeah, it's pretty much going in. I'm helps way, unfortunately for you, Lancien. Oh, here we go with the BRC and going straight into the arms of I'm Help. Big golden burst right there from Eto. He can bring it back. Goes with the Roman cancel into the kill. Very nicely done. That was a, a nice comeback from Eto. I really thought he was going to get killed right there. And here we go with the jump in. Nice back dash from I'm Help. Getting out of... Oh, and hitting Eto with the freaking chemical love. I'm going to love you every day of the week, bruh. And here we go with the grab. Gamma Blade to keep the pressure going. Goes for the PRC, man. Oh, the big golden burst right there from my help. The pressure is real. Here we go. The Roman cancel goes for the low. Should be able to get the wall break. Will get the wall break. Indeed, into the 4 tc mode. Look at the damage. Good lord. You know, doesn't do any damage, by the way. <coughs> what happened to Gilgamesh? Are you evil? Uh, are you his evil conjoined twin? <laughs> that is a very good uh, question. That being said, first round goes, well, first match actually, goes to Amel. Nice start for the Korean player. Let's see if he can honor Darwino. We shall see. So let's see, Tuzura is here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, nobody calling me. This is perfect. Today we have a cozy. It's, it's a cozy tournament, guys. It's really going. We have some big names, by the way. We have like Ty, we have uh, we have Mugi, we have um, wait, we have RF as well, Tsuboy as well. So we have like some big names. Not going to lie, but uh, it's a relatively cozy tournament because we uh, we have about 21 participants. So it's not like as it, it's been such a long time since we have we had so few participants, and I'm actually happy to say that uh, 21 is a few number for the Brojo Cup. I am actually pretty happy. That being said, what is my... What is what is this TNK doing over there? Just one second, guys. Something's wrong. Uh, match, red ground... Yeah, here we go. What, what is this doing over there? Okay, here we go. Let's put this shit here. Okay, should be fine here. And... Perform. There is a, okay, this is a lot better now. What the hell was it doing all over there, bro? Anyways, yes, uh, but uh, I don't like it. Let me change it a bit. Okay, a little bit up. Good stuff from I'm Help, man. Dude is freaking hooking while I'm trying to arrange my overlays. <coughs> okay, anyways, that being said, Koski Mark. うごきましたよ。うごきましたよ。なぜかわかんないけど、上左の端っこにずっとあっててなんでなんで勝手になんか場所を移動したかわかんないです。まとりあえず今直しましたんで。オッケーです。ウェイ。わあ、ウェイ
How do you block this? It's impossible. Yeah, there you go. No! Wow, that was probably a bad dash from my help. I am going to say that it probably wasn't the case, but in the end, it worked out for the Korean player. Takes the uh, second match as well. Let's see how this uh, how this works. Ah, uh, T is so good when your your throat is uh, a little bit painful. I'll be right back, guys. By the way. Okay, sorry for the wait. Oh! Here we go with I'm Help going for the overhead and should be able to get the kill with the wall break. Very nicely done by I'm Help, but definitely rocking a pain training today. And I, I really don't know what's going on with Eto. He has a lot of trouble trying to adjust. He goes straight for the DP though in the pressure. Here we go with the corner pressure. Goes for the close. No, too far for the grab. Still okay. He got out of uh, harm's way. Ooh, he managed to block the stroke. Managed to get a small juggle too. Very nice with punish from it. It'll go straight into the Ocha Chun. Come on! <coughs> so it's gonna be the mix. He goes for the cross up. Forces I'm helped to pop the burst. <coughs> and here we go with the low, man. Oh, goes for the empty low again. And the overhead for the kill. You see, you know, you have an overhead. I have an overhead as well. Very nicely done by Ito. Definitely not out of this yet. Oh, and the big 2D counter hit manages to get the juggle afterwards. Oh, again, too far to get the grab. This is the second time it happens. It's so unfortunate for him. Okay, nice heat drop. Oh, yeah, just jump out of... Oh, harm's way should be able to get the conversion. And he doesn't look at the damage. Look at the damage. That was pretty nice damage right here. <coughs> Let's see if Eto can seal the deal. We shall see. Wow, for some of the burst. He needs to be really careful. One opening with you know sh will be uh oh here we go to RC. Very nice. Oh no, no got hit by the sultry performance and the DB. He goes for the alpha blade. Oh manages to get the burst, but he oh with the six p for the kill. I do believe he managed to punish the uh, the chemical love right there. That was pretty sick. Very nice stuff from uh, from Ito. Not out of this yet. Oh, that was sick though. It was really sick. I really thought like I'm Help was gonna bring it back. But nice jump in from Ito, forcing it. I'm Help to pop the burst. Nice punish on the throw though. Here we go with the over the, the cross up. It doesn't get the juggle, but goes for the reset empty low. The empty low reset. Good stuff. Here we go with the Ototoy. Come on. Gonna get that hard knockdown. Goes just straight. Oh, goes for the double overhead. Oh, nice air grab from I'm Help though. Oh no! No, oh, no! But still, okay, Eto manages to uh, get one jab in for the kill. I'm help was uh, starting to look very, very menacing with all of his decision making. Here we go with the delayed. Oh no, gets hit by the stroke. <laughs> nice block from Eto, though. Oh lord! Almost got the jump in, though. Oh, but it's hovered on. Here we go with the delayed hover. Double overhead. Okay, Ito out of harm's way. Goes with the Gamma Blade and the overhead Roman Cancel. Okay. Oh no! Runs straight into the 2HS. Ah, uh, this is not gonna kill, thankfully. Ooh! Oh, and just runs straight into the hover again. What is gonna happen? Is Ito going to lose this one even though he's been working so hard? Ah, oh, gets hit by the 6P. Um. Badly timed media right there from Ipto. He does manage to get the golden burst at the opportune moment. Ah, doesn't get the wall break though. It's okay. Oh no, too far for the. Oh no, gets the overhead. Again, the overhead tries to go for the grab, but I'm help reads it. Gets the bag that. <laughs> <coughs> and punishes with an overhead of his own. Ah. Ito going one too many times with the overhead. Ooh, manages to get the wake up DP though. <laughs> and he goes for the reset and the grab for the kill. How you doing, Zemthorific? Welcome back, bro. <coughs> Good stuff from it. So bringing it back, man. He's still not out of the woods yet. Needs one more in order to win this one, which would be a pretty nice, um, a pretty nice comeback. Not going to lie. Reverse 3-0, bro. 
<laughs> I almost got the punish on the sultry performance and I'm help with the burst bait goes underneath the burst using the stroke Eno you know, players absolutely love this technique <laughs> ripping got the Faust mirror first ah damn it I would uh, you played against Amato I think yeah Amato is pretty freaking strong not gonna lie yeah don't worry you still have the losers you can probably um, you can probably shift the tides don't worry still not over Zynac Anyways, here we go with the hover and the kill by I'm help on set point currently. What is Eto gonna do? Yo, Marisa, how you doing? Here we go, the Alpha Blade doesn't get Oh, catches the bag, that's where the closest. This is gonna do a oh, it's gonna do some decent damage. Just need one more opening. No! Oh, tried to challenge the 2B, the 2H, but it was already out too quickly. <coughs> well, fortunately for him, he did get a uh, a trade though. It could have been so much worse. Okay, what is gonna be the wake up? Oh well, where is he? Nice blocks, man, from it. Oh, gets the jump in. Oh, giggle for some, the low gamma blade to reset and the overhead for the kill. We are going on to the last round of the absolute last match. Oh, what is going to happen? We shall see. Nice blocks from it. Oh, good melting a bit in the weather too. Oh, where are you at, by the way? Very so. Yeah, it's pretty hot in Japan also. So, oh, Lord, and we're gonna grab. I'm help has the. Ooh, Lord, is that going? That's not gonna kill. It's gonna be pretty close though. Just one more mix, and this might do. The UK, wow. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. It's pretty hot in Europe right now. Ooh, nice uh, stuff from Ito. Can he make the comeback? That would be sick. If he has the comeback, that would be so sick. Goes for the BRC. Wow, he gets the burst. He gets the burst. The YRC, oh no, he wanted the YRC, I'm sure, oh no, oh no, no, I guess it by the 2k, this is so unfortunate, I was actually rooting for it. He's been sticking with Nagoriyuki ever since the start of the game, so let's see how this pans out. And uh, yeah, Galga Bear with the Anji, the new Anji caller, by the way. Ah, gets cleared by the standing HF, this is so unfortunate for him. He's gonna do a ton of damage, though. ooh, here we go with the <laughs> OTG. And Gilgamesh ah, getting opened by the DP. You hate to see it. Kaboom. And unfortunately for Gilgamesh, he it loses the first round, but it is not over till it's over. Let's see if he can <coughs> collect himself and bring things back. We shall see. Gets hit by the closest. You hate to see it. <coughs> okay, Marisa, let me give you the uh, the VIP bag. Let's see. Let's see. We're not going to do it. I haven't done it in such a long time, but it should be fine. Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, so uh, we go here, add new, and Marisa, and then VIP. Do I have your name correct? I do, yeah. Should be fine. Okay, should be fine now. Okay, try to type something. It should be, uh, ah, damn it, we're gonna have an error. Uh, we're gonna have an error. I'm already equipped to uh, to deal with uh, with this, this connection error anyway, so. So, one for Giambu. Let's see how this turns out. Hmm, that's so weird, right? Thank you very much for the follow, cheer it up, and welcome to the Brojos. Oh, Lord, you're oh, ho, oh, oh. And here you go with the burst bait by Gilga Bear with the... Oh, he gets a close S. Yeah, tries to go for the jump, unfortunately. Couldn't get any, but he does get the dance. And this should be enough to seal? No, not enough. Yo, nice. I'm here. Hold me up with you. Oh, no. Gilga Bear. No. No, Gilga Bear. Yes, gets the... Low for the kill. Nice stuff from our representative from the Republic of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Un fin pour la première fois en jeu. Nice, c'est pas mal ça. Moi je suis passé plat euh, level 3. Plat 3 diamants là. Enfin, plat, plat euh, avec 3 level 3 on va dire. Bah, je crois qu'on l'appelle comme ça. Et du coup je pense que d'ici demain je vais passer diamant. Enfin d'ici demain, demain. Demain je vais regrinder et je... Je vais essayer de passer diamant moi-même. Hein. Mais ça enfin, le... c'est beaucoup moins difficile que Street Fighter 5 pour euh, monter de niveau, ouais, je vais pas mentir. Anyways, here we go with Gyambu and the quarter pressure wants to catch Gilgamesh. Pressing buttons here and there. Oh, and Gilgamesh with the dance. <laughs> oh, he had the sheets, unfortunately, for him. Gyambu. Oh, no, here we go the double sheets. No, the double. Uh... Oh, Lord! If I chain win the. Ah, ouais, quand même, ça, pour toi. Eh, bien. Ah, j'avoue, ça fait, ça fait beaucoup. Hein. Mon dieu. Beau gosse. Wow! No! And Gyambu man, ooh, gets the closest. Oh no! He almost got the 2HS. Ooh, this is bad. Oh, almost got the jumping, but Gyambu and the spacing, it's so good. 
Doesn't go for the extension, but gets grabbed by Gilgamesh. Nice stuff from Gilgamesh. Noticing that Yambu likes to. Ooh, Lord! Right, careful there. Ooh! And here we go with the Kacho Fugans. Ooh! <laughs> Good stuff, bro! Oh, and Gilgamesh with the 4 food. He almost got the kill, but it's okay. He's got the forest for the kill. Gilgamesh brings it back. 1-2-1. One, one. Holy freaking lord. <coughs> almost got, uh, got, yeah, almost uh, lost this one, actually. That was really, really close. Yeah, you here we go with... Ooh, lord, the closest. Oh, no, and Gilgamesh unfortunately throws... Well, actually, tries to take thin air, which doesn't play in his, uh... In his... In his side, on his side, in his favor. I'm sorry. And you're gonna go with Yambo using the Wasude Yuki. He's, he's, yeah, he was close to the, close to also got the wall break. Goes for the close S. Oh lord, and the jump up from Gilgamesh. And Yambo, oh lord, gets the grab. Oh, and the Kacho Fu gets. Woo. Damn, that was definitely a reaction. I can tell you, this was definitely a reaction. Woo. Ah, uh, no, and the double, uh, Fukyo. Are we going Fukyo dance? Ooh, and the grab for the kill. Gyambu takes the lead. One round. Let's see how this pans out. In fact, I played against you yesterday, it was crazy. Now I'm a little more calm, but I'm not supposed to play. Ah, bah, clearly. It's better to play with friends who are a little more level, who are a little more level than you. It's cool because, first, you play a little bit without stress. And your friends can also give you advice. It's also funny, though. It's just funny. C'est vrai que moi je préfère jouer avec des gens que je connais, hein. je vais pas mentir. Ah bah here we go with Yambu going straight for the... He must have been this... Oh no! Oh no, but Gilgamesh wasn't ready! <coughs> And Gilgamesh getting hit until... Kingdom comes by the closest, man. Closest, the bane of Gilgamesh. That's how this pans out. Good lord. Oh, and the big Fujin! Finally, Gilgamesh uh, finds his turn. Tried to go for the dance, but couldn't quite get anything. Wow! And the big freaking Beyblade, man. That was so tight. Good stuff. Goes for the extension. RC is gonna get the wall break. What is Gilgamesh gonna do? Wow, the big jumping! Okay, here we go with the RC extension. Wants to go for big damage. Ooh, gets a jump in. Oh, no, they didn't bait it, though. And a grab from Yambu for the kill. <laughs> Probably noticing that Gilgamesh was starting to get very wary of the... Uh, of the... Oh, of the follow-up DP. This is bad. Ooh, Lord, and the closest yet again. Ah, this is looking pretty bad for our representative Kentucky Fried Chicken. Woo! Oh, the big duty gallery. No, didn't quite get any. No, I didn't get the follow-up. Not like this. Oh, he gets the jump in. Oh, no. And the Wasude Yuki Rabra. Oh, you hate to see it. Is this? Nah, it's not gonna kill, but it's gonna be pretty close. Ah, one more mix. Oh, and a Gacho Fugetsu. Oh, no. And the Beyblade for the finish. And Yambu takes it 3 to 1. Chat, that means that, yes, you can start your match. If you have something written in your chat from me saying that you have to wait, then that means you have to wait. So, here we go! Let's see how this pans out. <coughs> Very nice 2k2d from Tsuboy going straight for the corner positioning. Well, forces Tsuzuna to pop the burst. <coughs> oh, again, man, and Tsuzuna with the far keep away game. I should be able to get... Oh, Lord, what was that? The side switch? It was definitely not intentional. Damn, Tsuboy going completely ham, bro. Woo! Here we go with the cross up. Oh, Lord. Oh, and Tsuboy, he had the means to Roman Castle and finish it, but it's still okay. He finished his plate regardless. I'm out. See you next year. No problem, Zenak. Thank you very much for participating, bro. I'm going to put Grojo Stream on the Steam Deck so I can chill and watch by the guard. Man, you make me want to buy a Steam Deck, bro. Holy freaking Lord. I wish I had one, but I just bought, like, I bought a, um, a laptop, like, literally a couple of, of months after the Steam Deck was announced. And I swear to God, bro, I would have bought the Steam Deck if I didn't bought my laptop, because it's so convenient. It does play online, right? You can play, like, for example, Guilty Gear Strive online and, uh, and Street Fighter 6 as well, right? If that's the case, it's so godlike, man. Anyway, so here we go with Suzuna with the corner positioning, goes with the sword throw, catches the boy pressing buttons. Oh, oh here we go, Suzuna popping the burst. That means, oh, here we go with the blocks. 
Oh, too much right to get on. Oh, Lord, too I'm not afraid to freaking. Oh, and too I get it to the six, please. Good Lord. That does all that great. Very nice. Ah, oh, good Lord. You make me want to buy one. Yeah, well, I guess I'm going to have to. Um... That being said, my laptop is actually very good because I can stream. Uh, like when I'm abroad, for example, I'm on a business trip or whatnot. I can uh, literally stream and play on uh, on the same laptop, basically. But albeit, it's not going to be like as high quality as what I'm doing right now because I'm 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 playing. Well, I'm I'm uh, the game is uh, playing on the PS5 and I'm streaming it on my laptop on my uh, my desktop. But it's actually very very nice quality, you know. So well, that's, it's it's okay. I kind of la like my investment. It's it's not it's not completely lost, I feel. But yeah, for the convenience of like playing just on the get go on something that. Well, quite. Yeah, that that looks like a switch, quite literally. Except it, it's actually beefy, you know. That is really, really appealing. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Very nice back death rider from Two Boy managed to get the whip punish with the 2K 2D2. That being said, here we go with Tsuzura, man. Woo! Tsuzura having the corner positioning goes for the overhead to reset. Should be able to catch this and get the Calvados. Here we go, boom! Look at this. Get out of here! Get out of here, Chip. We don't like people with no health. <laughs> it is, ooh, Lord, and the jump in front. Suboy should be able to get the corner. Perry goes for the reset, but nice blocks from Tuzura. Pops the freaking no. Too far to get anything good. <coughs> Man, Suboy being so freaking slippery goes for the RC. Should be fine. Yeah, not enough to kill though. Drive runs is great on it. Though I plug uh, in an external control. Yeah, of course, yeah. Playing any fighting game with the D-pad must be, uh, must not be very easy. So yeah, I can, I definitely understand. That being said, here we go with the next round. What is gonna happen? Very nice, good start from Tsubo. Should be able to get the corner. Oh, oh Lord! And the freaking train, bro! Surprise, mother humper! No fries, mother humper! Snake eyes, mother humper! <laughs> How are you doing, Akuman? Welcome. Welcome, John. <laughs> How you doing, John? <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the juggle by Tsubo should be able to get... Oh, the wall break! Yes, he does! Very nice wall break from Tsubo. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna say your family name. But I know everything about you, Hakuma. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for the surprise, bro. Much appreciated. Oh, and the Calvados! It's not enough to kill. I'm actually surprised it's not enough to kill. Generate name as they come. Nah. That, normal is fun, bro. Normal is always better, I feel. Anyways, here we go with 220 for Tsuzura. Still one more required uh, to send Tsuboy in the loser's bracket. Is Tsuzura going to do so? Ah, unfortunately, forced to pop an early burst. And I got called in the... Hmm. Oh, that's it. Okay, okay. Good. Oh, to take, come on! <coughs> and here we go with the jump in. Good lord! Oh, nice stuff from two boy. Gonna get the kill. Finally, not out of this yet. And gets a perfect. Nevertheless, man. Good stuff from two boy. Not out of this yet. Oh, but runs straight into the. <gasps> no! That semi freaking. Uh, I guess we can call that a shimmy. That was great from two The patience of this man. But look at Tsuboy, the mobility of this dude, he does not want to get cornered. I'm gonna try and claw my way out of silver, mashing is a whole different- Yeah, it's, it is pretty different. Yo, how come we have to play together on Street Fighter 6? We actually do. I just realized we never played together yet. So yeah, we definitely have to play together, bro. I'm, uh, I'm platinum third level right now. I'm, I'm still, like, relatively, uh, like, I, I still don't have everything optimized, like, uh, un well, unlike my, my Eno, I guess. But yeah, uh, we definitely need to play. That would be cool. Here we go with the Sukiyaki and Tsuboy going for the low for the kill. Tsuboy putting one on the board. It's not over till it's over. Not lots of uh, comebacks from chip players today, man. Bro, platinum. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. It's honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I feel like most of the very very like, I feel like it's uh, the the platinum is the new um, it's the new uh, how do you call it celestial in in Strive. I feel. Yeah, once you're in Platinum, it feels it really feels like it's more or less like uh, the the Celestial. But then yeah, you have the Diamond, and then you have the Master, which is probably more, you know, bigger. It's it's just harder and shit, you know. So yeah, definitely. Anyways, yeah, we have to uh, go play some Extreme Battle, get that bolt to help me out. <laughs> yeah, we have to try it. It might, it might be fun. Yeah, I haven't tried all of the 
Celestial kind of crazy. Celestial is uh, not that big of a... It's not too bad. It's not too hard, but... I mean, in Street Fighter VI, the, um, the platinum level of players reminds me of the Celestial. For now, as of now. Well, of course, you have a lot of uh, discrepancies between like one player to another. Like, there's a huge difference of levels uh, in Celestial as well. But, like, the, I'd say the average level is, like, Platinum, I guess. It covers such a wide... Yeah, exactly. That's Yeah, you, you basically said it's so, so much better than I did. But, yeah, it's basically that, yeah. But I'd say, like, the average level of Celestial is what you have currently in Platinum in Street Fighter 6, I feel. Mm, be it a little bit weaker, too, though. Yeah, people literally cheese the Celestial and then go 0-10 in the park. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> There's people who can I, I can beat near freely, and people I struggle to get one round. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're totally right. But I'd say like the average, you know, the average level. But yeah, but uh, of course, also in uh, Street Fighter 6, you have uh, you have some big killers, even in Platinum, you know, because some people they started playing Street Fighter 6 without really grinding, without knowing how to play the character, and they basically tanked their placement patch uh, matches, and they ended up like in iron and shit, and now have to grind all of their way back to the top level. And th this is what happened to me personally. <laughs> like I completely tanked my placement levels. I was placed in iron, and now I had to go like from iron until like where I'm at right now. I, I didn't really encounter any like um, obstacle uh, until well uh, ever since I started to really understand how Cammy is supposed to play. Good stuff from Tsuboy, man. He's bringing it back. Holy freaking lord! Uh, haha, sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, I completely tanked my, my placement match. Like, I, I won, like, one match out of uh, everything. They, they put me in freaking iron, so yeah. And now, man, it's really, it's really hard to, to bring it back, because you, you win, like, 50 points a match, more or less, in, in platinum. So, it takes so long to, like, uh, you know, uh, go to the next level all the time. But it's, anyways, it's fun, because I get to play against a lot of people, at least. So, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I, to come back to the uh, original point, it's that like Platinum and Street Fighter 6 reminds me of Celestial level in, in Guilty Gear Strive. Like the average Celestial level, I guess. <clears throat> Anyways, so let's see how this runs out. <coughs> Man, Tsuboy with the reverse 3 Oh, yo. Let's see how this runs out, bro. Wow, the big 6 speed though from Suzuna catches Tsuboy out of the air and gets a counter hit. Here we go with Suzuna, not out of this yet. Tries to pin Tsuboy down. Goes for the freaking 6 speed, though. He needs to be really careful, bro. Oh, no surprise. Surprise for you. Ooh, here we go. The Ram Slam. And Tsuboy and the BP, bro. Ooh, Tsuboy and the whip punishes. Of course, it's not to pop the golden bird. Oh, oh, jump in. Tsuboy got the jump in. Goes for the overhead. He's going to go with the out the wall climb. Oh, Kamo gets it. One more hit should be enough. Ram Slam. No! <coughs> no room slim for you! Woo! Two boy forced to pop the bird! Oh, no, that's it! But oh my no wake up DP! Into the I sent to the losers! It's fine, I have everything under control. Don't worry, be happy. Here we go, sweet bully, and I am ready to rumble. <coughs> okay, sorry for the wait. So Sweet Bully versus Sutera still rocking the very mean biken. All both of these players are Repeaters of the Rojo Cup, very strong uh, players with their character. And here we go with the freak. Oh, that was an unfortunate burst. But look at the optimization states. And still almost, almost got his. Um, yeah, almost finished his combo. Will go for the follow up with the Kabari. Goes for the low, and the follow up again. Even if he didn't have any bars, bro, not afraid. Saved by the tatami, by the way. Oh, and gets the juggle off of the first hit of the Kabari. Very nicely done. <coughs> Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, jumping by. He's really gonna get the. Ooh, oh, no, no, you don't get for your ass. Good stuff from Misubiri. Oh, almost got the. Ooh, the hit in. Almost got the entire. But to Tera, man. Ooh, goes for the cross up. Okay, nice stuff from Misubiri. Almost got the hit. Ooh, lower. Using the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle somersault to get out of harm's way. Very nice there to wear by Stan. I guess the jungle, bro. Got a good for the oh the cross up, but unfortunately for him, the Yozan Sen came out a little bit late. Wasn't able to hit his enemy on overhead. Ooh, almost got the oh and no way that Boa Drive is gonna kill. Well, with the RC extension, it will. Oh yeah, it definitely will. Good stuff from Silla gets the first match, uh, the first round. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. 
Duel one. Okie dokie, bread zone cookies, good stuff. And here we go with the 6P, man. It's your booty in the top shape. <laughs> oh, oh, with the Kabari almost hit you, Oh, here we go with the jump in, still eyes in. Oh, look. Oh, okay, nice with punishment there from Musubiri. Again, man, look at the freaking ground control of Musubiri during a very good time. Oh, look, and Stella with the conversions, man. Look at this. He tried to get the burst, but yeah, Musubiri didn't want to give it to him. Oh, went for a delayed grab, but Usubui actually went for a delayed jumping D, which probably messed up the timing. Ooh, of Sinai, look at that freaking juggle. <coughs> Almost got the hit, bro. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it manages to get the kill with the quick dust, the tap dust. Good stuff from Usubui. On to the next battle. Mm. Oh, Lord, where are your legs, bro? Okay, Usubui out of harm's way using the... Uh, Mutant Ninja Turtle Somersaults. Oh, look! Here we go with the Jumping D. Stella holding strong. Oh, he's got the trade and the follow-up thing. <laughs> good. Good stuff from Musubiri. Yeah, Musubiri with a little bit of problem trying to keep the Stella grounded. Because we all know that Baikin only want one thing is to jump, jump S on your ass. Oh, wow, that pickup was sick! That was sick! Good stuff from Musubiri! Oh, doesn't want to go for the save jump, obviously, because of Hiragi. And gets the kill with the aerial yo-yo. First match goes to Musubiri in a very, very cool fashion, not gonna lie. That was really sick, holy freaking lord. Anyways, on to the next battle. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, no, you can just run up grab, that's all you need. The, the Kai, ooh, he's gonna get the dribble. No, this is unfortunate. Here we go with oh lord oh Usubiri with the new freaking text of uh of a uh, of Woody. I rarely seldom see uh see a bridges play like this. Oh lord, he's got the OTG schmix sh sh man. Oh, and here we go with Roger. Roger sending biking out of there. Good stuff. So up, uh, so let's see the second round. Nope, no air. No, I'm oh lord. Okay, Ninja Turtle, my way out of this. Haven't played DGSC. I forever have Asuka popularity died already. Um, I don't think he died, but um, I think Asuka is actually one of the the most uh, popular characters. This is the the problem. There, there's two problem I feel with the timing that they uh, took Asuka, that they they actually um, well uh, made Asuka available is that first and foremost, Street Fighter VI came out. <laughs> Okay, so that basically killed a lot of uh, you know enthusiasm for anything that is other game related than Street Fighter, than Capcom, you know, than Street Fighter. And the second problem is that Asuka is super freaking complicated. So this is not only hard on the players who wants to play Asuka, but it's also hard on the players who uh, will have to lab how Asuka works in order not to get completely pwned by him if you end up fighting against him. I feel. I am going to be honest when I say that I'm part of the latter group. Like, Asuka came out, I saw his kit, and I was like, if I have to work on strategies to not get killed by this character, I'm gonna go completely crazy. It's like learning a whole different game. Because if you don't know how Asuka plays, I feel he's going to, he's going to like completely like trample you, but without you being able to do anything about it. And I, it's just very, very like depressing to understand that you have to lab the character so much in order to find like counter uh, strategies against him. And it's it's basically my my current situation right now. So yeah. Uh, oh Lord! Ah, uh, good stuff from Stella. Oh, goes for the left right mix. Hmm. Oh, Lord, and that Hiragi out of nowhere! <laughs> he tried to go for another Hiragi! Oh, they should be able. Damn, still with the cojones, wasn't able to finish this freaking... No! Not like this! Not like this! <coughs> I don't think he's too strong. I think he's, uh... I think he's good. He's definitely viable. I think he's viable. I think. Okay. I I'm not, like, 100% uh, convinced. But I feel like he's one of these characters who are super annoying to fight. And uh, it, it kind of killed my hype for Strive in the sense that if I wanted to uh, continue playing Strive, I would need to lab the character because 
if you go in without knowing how the character works, you're bound to get like completely pwned, I feel. This is my impression, basically. And good stuff from Scott staying alive, bro. So yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like, yeah. Mm. But like, Street Fighter completely killed my... My vibe, my, not my vibe, my, my hype first for your figure, not gonna lie. I'm still gonna do the, the turnings. Uh, the, nah, I'm not not doing the turnings. I'm definitely continuing doing the uh, figure strife tournaments. But it's just me playing strive now is like, ah. When I know there's Street Fighter 6, yo, right next to me is like, ah. I kind of don't want to play strive. You know? Maybe it'll come back though, you know. I'm, it's, I, it's not out of the realm of possibilities, but you know. It is, I want to play freaking Street Fighter 6 every, all day, every day, so yeah. And there we go with the Kabari! Stara trying to make a comeback against the jungle! Almost got the kill! Oh no! Not like this Stara Coon! Oh the big two HS is this gonna do! It is! <coughs> Good stuff from Musui Booty takes it through! The reasons that for, for the reasons that I don't play the game as much as what I used to. <laughs> Which is uh, unfortunate, but you know it was it is what it is. Oh, sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry, sorry guys, my bad, my bad. Here we go. Damn it, I need to stop doing this. Right. <laughs> Where's the filter? Uh, just one second, guys. Uh, I have color correction? Why would I have color correction? Man? Ah, I do have color correction. Okay, good. Anyways, uh, sorry for the wait. Uh, besides World Tour and Brojo Cup, not much else in Guilty Gear Stride. <laughs> I think. I I'm kind of very happy that you would put uh, World Tour and <laughs> the Brojo Cup on the same level. Yeah, because obviously Brojo Cup is way better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, guys. Gonna head out and run some sets. Take care, homie. No problem. Good luck with your uh, Street Fighter 6 run, bro. What movie is Rocky? What the hell? Movie is playing Soul now? What is this treachery? This is crazy. I wasn't aware. I would like them to give us some clues or a roadmap about Strive. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree. I, I guess it's not going to be too far from now, but they could have done it during the... Uh, you know, there was a recent tournament that Leo won. Uh, when I say Leo, it's the Japanese uh, Leo, uh, the Japanese Faust player called Leo. Um, and uh, yeah, they should have announced shit at that particular moment. That would have been way more like... Uh, that would have been, been the perfect timing, but... I don't think they don't announce anything, so it's kind of... Yeah, kind of... Asuka popularity still seems pretty damn strong. At least from me playing... As, yeah. Yeah, but Asuka is definitely like... He's definitely uh, up there when it comes to character popularity. It's just that I feel like it... He kind of... He probably kind of killed the hype for certain people. Uh, when it comes to having to lab the character to either play him or to find strategies against him. That's my, my, my... But it didn't kill the hype for everybody, but for some people, I feel. Yeah, because, like, yeah. I was like, Asuka is really, really fun to, to play and to watch and do whatnot, but it's, it's like, oh, freaking lord. He's got so much stuff in his kit that you have to remember that it's overwhelming, you know? I've been matching as many of them as possible. That's good, yeah. That's probably what you need to do if you want to, you know, if you want to play the game seriously. And uh, here we go, the grab by early time, gonna put Moogie in the corner, goes for the save jump, very nice back dash from Moogie. Almost got, oh, almost got his turn back, but yeah, man, early time not letting him having it back. It didn't free, but I think it's like actually decent matchup uh, for Sin's kiss. Okay, okay, oh, he plays Sin then, okay, that's cool. And, um, okay, I, I kind of see why. Uh, well, I, I haven't, I actually haven't played a single Asuka ever since he came out. Uh, the reason being, uh, because... Uh, because I don't even remember the reason. I think like Asuka came out literally like uh, one or two days before Street Fighter 6 came out or something like this. So yeah, basically I didn't. I played a little bit Asuka when he came out, and then I didn't play Strive until uh, Street Fighter 6 came out, and then it was like bye bye for Strive. You've been playing a lot of yeah, man. I've been <laughs> I've been playing this game almost every freaking day. I've been like spending all of my time in, in training mode almost, but yeah, it's it's just so fun. And yeah, I've been doing a little bit of ranking here and there, and yeah, it's just it's just really really fun. So yeah, what about you, Marisa? You you, you rock the name Marisa, but it would be surprising that you don't play Street Fighter Six, especially with that handle of yours. Anyway, there we go with ooh Lord oh early type wanting to keep me in the corner. There we go with the Alpha the Beta Blade. The name is deceiving. It is it is. Oh no, the bird bait. No Moogie, not the bird bait. 
Okay, here we go. The tick. Oh, the tick. Oh, Lord. Another Alpha Braid. Okay, here we go with early type man going completely Dragon Ball Fighters on Moogie's ass now. Oh, here we go. The fake. Oh, cross up. And no. He drops it, unfortunately. <coughs> Meduka, thank you very much for the raid, much appreciated! I have not played Streets beyond the Ryu Luke demo. Very nicely done by early type, gets the second match as well! I have not played Streets beyond the Ryu Luke demo. Okay, okay. Demo. Uh, might grab it on a sale one day to play the single player. My smooth brain can only cope with learning GG. Uh, I can understand. But you know, like, uh, street, uh, street is a lot less, like, on steroids as Guilty Gear, so I have, like, the... The rhythm of the game is a lot less quick, so it, it you actually have time to like breathe a bit. So I feel like it's not that type of game where you're like completely, com uh, like constantly stressed and and uh, on the edge and whatnot. And it therefore makes it probably possible to juggle between this game and Guilty Gear Strive, which is a completely different type of fighting game. I feel. That said, it's funny when people think Strive is easy. Yeah, I don't think it's easy. It's uh, it's like uh how do you say execution wise it's easy but nerve wise you know when it comes to like uh having to cope with literal minutes of uh non-stomping pressure from your opponent and you having to guess uh, uh get like guess between 10 various different mix-ups uh it is pretty it, it is pretty like uh tiring i'd say it's the mental stack of uh of uh, Guilty Gear Strive is really, really high. Like, it's extremely high. And, uh... I feel like people tend to underestimate that. Like, just looking at the, uh, the execution and... Think that, oh yeah, but the buffer is... The buffer is this, you have Gatlings, you have this type of shit, like... The combos are extremely easy to do, like, you know, people tend to look only at that and... Not at the mental stack of the game. And I feel like the mental stack is... Could also be taken into account when it comes to judging whether a game is easy to play or not. And the mental stack of Strive is really, really high. Like, it's extremely high. Like, because in, in the same line of work, I'd say, for example, that uh, Dragon Ball Fighters is the same, I feel. In the sense that execution wise, it's baby easy. Like, it's super freaking easy. You can do like uh, 100 like hits combos very easily, like TODs and shit. But the mental stack is like god awful. <laughs> I've seen people up to diamond mashing on hit in Street Fighter 6, so. Uh, I've seen people up to diamond mashing on hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see, I can see. But then again, you, you know, you have uh, mashers and you have uh, people who tend to stress out a bit. Uh, quite a lot uh, in every single game, I suppose. But I just said that the overall, like, mental stack of Street Fighter 6 is not as violent as that of. Uh, as that of. Um, Guilty Gear Strive or or even Dragon Ball Fighters for that matter, I feel, in my honest opinion, like for me, Street, Street Fighter Six is more like a mentally stack. Uh, when it comes to mental stackness, I don't know how you, how you qualify this, but if like <laughs> concerning like mental stackness, I feel like uh, Street Fighter Six is close to uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Basically, it's really therapeutical in some kind of way. You can you can play it without being stressed. You can play it without. You know, being uh, angry without being like too committed, without being too sweaty, if I might say. And just enjoy it without, you know, being resentful or, or salty or... You, you see what I mean? So yeah. But Guilty, Guilty Strive, Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, he's very quick, very... There's 1000 different ways your opponent can op uh, like uh, open you up. Like, the mental stack of these games are like... Even though they're the easier form of game, they're the easier execution type of game. Oh wow, that blue RC was crazy. Good stuff from early type, and he's on match point actually. I think uh, Mugi won one if I'm correct. I think he won one now. He probably won one. Yeah, he did. He did. He did win one. Hmm. And here we go with the Sukiyaki from early type. Gets the jump in. <coughs> so right now, Mugi will have to win two matches in a row if he wants to stay in the winner's racket. Very nice block from Mugi. Oh lord, you're going to block again, but gets jumped on. I'm not traditionally a big F uh, FG guy, though. I just got into Guilty Gear and really vibe with the music characters and crazy story stuff. Yeah, I, I see. Thanks, Lady Scribe, for the raid. Much appreciated it. And just like this, actually, early time sent. <laughs> oh, problem. Good luck. Have fun. Night, night. Thanks, Lady. Have a good night as, you, as well. Sure, that was the first game I could consider myself as here. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah, I started with Street Fighter 4. 
I started with Street Fighter 4, then I moved to... Wait, wait, Street Fighter 4? So, Street Fighter 4, Strive... Uh, no, sorry, Street Fighter 4. Uh, then I played uh, Grand Blue. I played Street Fighter 5, obviously. I played uh, Samurai Showdown. I said Dragon Ball Fighters already, I think. And then Strive, and that's and a little bit of uh, Super Smash Brother. Was it? Is my uh, next match top eight yet? <laughs> uh, if you don't have any, uh, where are you? Where are you? Ah, oh, you are here. Your next match is top eight. Yeah, it's semifinals. It is. It is. Yes. Oh damn! You beat Usui too. Good job. Uh, good job, Yambu. Very good job. Holy shit. Good stuff. Anyway. There you go, on to the next battle, and RF already rocking a train on Hagyara. Ooh, he drops it, unfortunately. Here we go. Ooh, very nice air drill right there from RF. Ooh, almost got hit. Good, nice blocks, and RF. Wow, look at the anti airs of this man. Good stuff, and manages to get the kill. <coughs> okay. Uh, I think having friends and rivals makes an... Uh, oh, definitely. Of course, of course. Having a community also is pretty... Uh, pretty important but when i say a community it's not you being the leader of the community even though it might be fun but uh you being part of a community is also pretty uh pretty good for uh development when it comes to fighting games like that since you can like ask for advice and you know just play people that you know which character they play and ask for advice for that specific matchup a lot easily easier than wow but look man look at the damage damn the life of rf like melted in a split second it was Freaking crazy. Okay, on to the next uh, round. And RF Wu finds the opening. Hit the dive kick. <coughs> May Faust is out. Oh, May Faust in the freaking. On oh, the freaking top. Oh, no, Mini Faust is angry. Oh, that means it look at Hagala managed to fade that burst. Oh, she got the teleportation station. Oh, is he gonna get the kill? Yes, he will. Oh uh, yeah, I'm playing out of his freaking mind, man. to take the first match off of RF, man. You cannot see that anywhere else. Good stuff from Hagiara, man. Much, much impressive. Anyways, here we go with Hagiara already having the minions on deck. Nice block on the overhead, though. Oh, but got hit by the dive kick. Uh, oh lord, a little bit too far to get that command grab, but that being said, it's okay, Hagiara did get the trumpet. <laughs> Couldn't quite get anything off of it, unfortunately. Oh, and that's six speed, oh. Hagiara with the character knowledge, man. The matchup knowledge, yeah, he wants to prevent him from throwing his head. You can see it. Ah, good stuff, but yeah, one of the minions had to sacrifice himself not to get hit by the head. <laughs> Very nice tech from both players. Ooh. Oh no! Ah, uh, was that a good idea? I don't know. I do not know. Here we go with the pickup. And I with the juggle goes straight for the overdrive. And this should be the kill. This is definitely going to kill, is it? Oh, no. Actually, good lord. I forgot how skilled uh, the supers were in, in strive. Damn. Can here we go with <coughs> RF and Jabari. Gets the kill with the dive kick. Very nicely done. And on to the next battle. <coughs> I want to drink some tea, holy freaking lord. <clears throat> He's really good with the corner pressure, RF has to hold it. Wow, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, for example, that sequence right here. The mental stack, like, fighting against Jacko is a one heck of a freaking high one, man. Good lord. Anyways, good uh, defense from RF. He did had lose like more than half of his health in the process though, but <gasps> Oh no! Illusion Driver! Is it gonna kill? It's probably gonna kill. Oh no, actually. Okay. He tried to go for the uh, 2D OTG, but couldn't quite get it. And gets hit by the 2K. Damn, I got him, man. <laughs> well, I wish <laughs> an AU player won. I'm really glad that uh, Leo's Faust uh, put him in Arc World Tour finally. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely, definitely, man. Yeah, Leo, Leo's Faust is... Uh, now, Leo is a very, very strong player. Extremely strong. I have the uh, pleasure of fighting him offline, like in tournaments and shit, and... He's not only a very strong player, he's also very, very likable as well. Always very respectful, always uh, very nice and funny as well. He's just a very, um... Very easy to speak and easy to interact uh, uh, individual, so... 
I'm really glad he won, to be honest. Especially against the likes of Latif. <laughs> who is, we're not gonna lie, probably one of the strongest players in the game currently. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. But I did, I did feel bad for Latif because... Latif did put a lot of work in the game and... It's the second time that somebody, uh, uh, basically, uh, gate keeps him out of the, 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 the out of the win, basically, so, by far, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but it's just, it's just sad for him that, yeah, it's the second time that he's being get, gate kept, uh, out of the, out of the win of A Major. Even though he's been placing, like, regular in the top 8 or, but he always tweet funny things when he loses, though, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I think he didn't tweet anything particularly funny this time around. He wasn't even particularly salty, he just said, ah, I, I don't really know if he tweeted something. Let me check real quick. I don't think he did, though. Let me check Lipsy. I think he was just a little bit salty, so he didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he just said, like, I would like to take a moment and thank uh, blah, 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 and for their well, uh, warm welcome and amazing hospitality when I came to Australia. Yeah, he... Man, you are the best second place. <laughs> True story said on his timeline, he wrote like, Man, you are the best second place player there is by far. <laughs> uh, from now on, call me Mr. Second Place. <laughs> yeah, you see? One more grand final. Yeah, you see, like, he, he didn't take it like, he even like kind of jokes about it. So I feel like, I don't know. I feel like he, he learned a little bit. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's cool. That, it, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. He's a hungry box, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's the reason why I feel kind of sad for him, because I feel like he kind of deserved to win this time around. It is his, uh, you know, his, the, the second time that he actually managed to be so close to the win, end up in the grand final and still not win, you know, so it, it felt kind of, uh, kind of sad for him. Like, I really, I really wish he did win a major. I feel like he really deserves it. But anyways, we'll see, we'll see. And especially since Street Fighter 6 is coming out, well, is out right now, uh, I'm afraid that Latif might actually stop playing Strive overall and just focus on on Street Fighter 6. Wow, what the hell? That was so sick. <laughs> the corner carry potential is real. I tried to go for the uh, empty low, but uh, Arth was aware of it. Man, he's still taking the win. He did come to Australia to gatekeep the local players, so it's karma to have equally strong player come to gatekeep. Yeah, yeah fair, fair, enough, fair enough, fair enough. I understand. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fair enough. I mean, like, at the end of the day, it's uh, uh, best player win, you know? There's not much uh, there's not much else to do. But it's just me, like, me personally, uh, totally subjectively, uh, rooting for him uh, to at least win one major, because I feel like uh, he deserved it. But then again, Leo also deserved to win, like, to be fair. If you, if you see uh, how much Leo actually is invested in the community and... Uh, participates in the tournament and does extremely well at said tournament. It was only natural that he uh, ended up like winning uh, a major eventually, I think. Yeah, well, it's fine, it's fine. Either way, it was uh, fine by me, but yeah. That being said, we're gonna go with the sweep by Rip. <laughs> oh, get six speed, unfortunately! Woo! A nice, nice anti right there from Rip doesn't want to get hit by the minions. <laughs> yeah, it was real nice to see a Faust player win. Yeah, man, it is, it is. Faust is no loser, bros. We have a ton of Faust players who win the Brojo Cup all the time, by the way. So yeah, the, uh, it's, it's like Faust... I mean, the literal trinity of Faust players won the Brojo Cup. So that means Leo won the Brojo Cup already, uh, Nage won the Brojo Cup, and RF won the Brojo Cup as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm convinced that like Faust is not a bad character. The trinity of Faust. <laughs> But good stuff from uh, Hagia actually managing to send this is early type TYD Giovanna Legend, the winner of Arc Rivo Japan, if I'm correct. Was it? Yeah, I think it was TY. Or maybe much. I think it was TY, yeah. But anyways, uh, definitely looking forward to this match. Let's see how this turns out. And here we go with TY in the tick pressure. Finds the opening with the Trovao. Ooh, wow. Um, wait, not the Trovao. I need to remember the names of her attacks. <laughs> wait. Yovana does look. <laughs> I keep uh, I keep like uh, mixing the Trovao, the Sepultura. I think Sepultura, yeah. Th that was a Sepultura, not the Trovao. The Trovao is a spinning arrow. The spiral arrow. Uh, yeah. throw Sepultura, yeah. Sepultura, Trovao, and the uh, Nasante, and the Puente, yeah, exactly. Very good, very good. Good first round by TY. <laughs> As an Eno main, do you love to watch Darko? Oh, obviously. That's my favorite thing in the world. 
I watch his uh, stream regularly. It's always fun to watch him play, uh, because uh, well, because obviously I, you know, I, I watch his stream for in Intel, and it's overall very fun to watch his stream because yeah, he cooks people all the time, so it's just very fun to watch. And here we go with the jump in by early time. Gonna get the wall splash. Yes, we will. Oh, to take, come on! Good stuff from early time. Gonna get a uh, synchro or not? Wow! Here we go with again the wall. Oh no, he's gonna go for the for the mix. <laughs> oh! Oh lord, and the quick cancel by T.Y. Oh lord! Oh no, it's clear by the dude. You hate to see it. Ah, uh, this should do. Yes, T.Y. Pump the burst. The shuriken and the trade in favor of early type. Definitely not of that, this out yet. He's definitely gonna make take a major effort. I hope so, man. I really do. But uh, like, uh, it's like Daru is so dominant sometimes. It feels like he's never gonna lose, and then he, I feel like he ends up playing a player that uh, a very strong player that uh, that absolutely knows exactly how Eno plays and just bodies Daru. <laughs> It, it usually ends up like this, so yeah. I really hope that he wins a major. I'm just happy right now that he got sponsored, which he absolutely, absolutely deserved <laughs> to be sponsored. So that's a great thing, because now he's going to be able to travel to majors without having to go broke, you know? So yeah, that's actually a pretty good thing. But yeah, I really hope he's going to win a, a big major, you know? I feel like he deserves it. Anyway, there we go with the Puente, uh, with UI getting the corner positioning. No entire... And the juggle for early type. Woo! Ah, it gets kid. Uh, shit, it gets uh. Oh, hit by the wake up Nasante, the wake up uh, Ventania. He will win soon enough. I hope so, bro. I don't really know if it's gonna happen though, but I really hope it's gonna be the case. Like, yeah, that would deserve it. I feel like he really deserved to win a um, a major, but it's just that, yeah. But the, you know, it's strong. You know he's very strong, but I, I don't know. I don't see like, I don't see you know as a as a major winner. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but but yeah, I really if somebody can do it, it's definitely definitely Daru. You know, yeah, like there's no there's no questions asked. Like if somebody can win with you know, it's definitely Daru. But I don't know if it's possible <laughs> to win with you know with a real major. You know, yeah, it's very unstable. You know, because okay, like I know that you know has. Um, you know has a very nice mix-up game. She does, but at the end of the game, uh, at the end of the day, sorry, it's like it's like guessing game. It's more of a guessing game than anything else, you know. So, yeah, that's the thing. Also, you know has a very tough matchup spread in the in the high tiers, and usually when you get majors, you have a lot of people who play top tiers, obviously, especially the, the good players, you know. And um, these top players uh, play characters that absolutely shit on you, you know. So. That, that that's my that's basically my my, my opinion. But uh, yeah, I know that she's strong though. I, I think that you know is strong by the way. I think she's A tier, personally, and the uh, the upper uh, part of the bracket be like S and S plus. But uh, yeah, I feel like she's like A tier. But it's just that yeah, I don't know if she's major like major major material. I, I really don't know. But anyways, here we go with early tap in the corner positioning. Ooh, trying to open Ti up. We go with the RC. TY with the cross up. Goes for the Trovile. Finds the opening. Almost got the burst. Wanted to have the burst, but yeah. Early type not biting. Ah, you can see a TY wanting to. Ooh! Finally, TY. No, an early type popping the burst. Finally, forced to. And gets hit by descending K. And that was a quick 3 to 0. Made top eight uh, at uh, the Tiger Taiga Uppercut uh, Thailand tournaments. Yeah, I think it was in Thailand. I'm pretty sure it was. This is one uh, tournament I really want to go. Uh, Tiger Uppercut. Like playing Strive and being in Thailand. That must be so good. <laughs> that must be so fun. Oh, it's a good lord. Yeah, I think that if they do a Tiger Uppercut, I'm gonna try to go there. Yeah. Anyways, here we go, bro. with... Oh, Gyamu trying to make his way towards Agera, but Agera not letting him doing so. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, here we go, the Akuma Fireball. Very nice 6 speed, but blocked by Gyambu. But you can see Agera pushing him ever so slightly in the corner. He's gonna get... Oh, Lord, here we go, the low. 
Oh, yeah, before I swap the wires, he goes straight for the bite. Uh, probably wanting to... Oh, Lord, the big DP. This is going to do a lot of damage. Kaboom. Wall breaks, sir. Oh, let's see how this spins out. Ooh, back to Kyo. Ah, gets hit by the 6 HS. By the 5 HS. You hate to see it. Ooh, not enough to kill, but gets scaled by a V minion, unfortunately. Let's see how this spins out. Is Gambo gonna be able to adapt? Here we go with. Ooh, Lord! With the DP. Ah, Gambo with the take pressure, man. Wants to keep Agyara in the corner where he can. Oh, victimize him! Oh, close as for the opening. And look at the damage! Gambo didn't want to go with the. Uh, with the reversal, not the reversal, with the uh, the overdrive this time around, unfortunately. Well, uh, well, strangely, unfortunately. Oh, Lord! Ah, uh, wait one second. I want to see if my link works. I hope it does. Yeah, I go to here. Perfect. Does my other link work? <laughs> what the hell? Ah, this is guilty gear. Yeah, okay, I'm good. What about the Street Party Six? What the hell? What power is Street Fighter 6? What are you talking about? Oh, damn it. Oh, buddy! Good stuff from Hagiara takes the first round. Why does it send me to the Guilty Gear strap page, though? What? Just one second, guys. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Anyways, it's fine. Oh, again, here we go with Yambu and DYRC wants to get out of the pressure. Ah, I think I know what the problem is. I'm the big. Ah, I'm, I'm dumb as a kite. I know exactly what the problem is. Okay, anyways, uh, yep. I need to solve this real, real quick. I'm just a very, very dumb person. By the way, I dumb. <coughs> the nice 2k 2d from Ayala goes for the fake cross up. And has Yumbo exactly where he wants him in the corner. Let's see, uh, bracket, bracket, bracket. Sorry. Bracket. There's the bracket. And schedule YouTube with no drag the duck there. Why is it? Okay, this should be all right. Okay, let's see. Who's on Kashi? Ah, here we go. That's better. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, now it works. Okay. I should put a space here uh, between tournaments and uh, the Street Fighter 6 link. Anyway, here we go with the Illusion Driver for the kill! And how get on a set point, actually? Yep, on set point. Let's see how this pans out. Is Yambu gonna be able to... Ad to uh, he's gonna be able to address... Uh, uh, to address... To adapt! Very nice 6p right there from Yumbo goes straight for the DP follow-up for the juggle. Oh, okay, nice for HS right there, but gets clipped by the 2k from Hagara. Goes for a 6 HS on the ground. Look at the damage already. Again with the grab. Woo! Almost got the back dash right there. And, oh lord, yeah, that blood gauge is going to fill itself up. Wow, and goes for the chip kill. Good stuff from Yumbo gets the kill. Okay, what is gonna be the follow-up? Wow, again with the DP, man. Wow, Yambu going completely ham. Just for the 5HS. A little too far to get the kit. The hit. <coughs> Here we go with the crowd with the pick crosser from Ayala, but Yambu is on point. Oh, nice command grab from Yambu. And here we go with the kill. And just like this, man, Yambu finally puts one on the board. Very nicely done. On to the next uh, battle. 
Thank you very much for the follow, Supersonic367, and welcome to the Brojo. Oh lord, gets hit by the second hit of the Rekka. Here we go with the opening by Yambu. Catches the backdash with the standing S. And this should be it. Holy freaking lord. Nice recognition from Yambu maximizing damage right here. And getting the kill. Oh, again with the Fukyo into the DP, man. It's been doing wonders for him. I guess still doesn't have the burst. Things are looking pretty dire for him for this particular... Ooh, Zark! Nice reaction grab, though, from Hagara. Oh! Yeah, I'm forced to pop the, the YRC. He does have his burst, though, so... Yeah. It's actually pretty good for him. Wow! Oh, Lord! Here, Yambu in the house, y'all! I didn't believe in it. He might have had a juggle if he... Uh, <laughs> oh, no! Here we go. Yambu out of a burst. Nice grab from Hagera. Oh no! And just like this, Hagera brings it back. Illusion Thriva! For the kill. Good stuff from Hagera bringing it back ever so slightly. Oh lord! Yambu forcing Hagera to pop the burst. Nice XP, almost got the hit with the Beyblade, but a little bit too far. Oh, here we go, the corner positioning, Yambu, man. No, oh, and that back there from Hagera was sick. And here we go with the wall break, almost there. Hagera wanting to keep the corner positioning. Fishing for that 6P, man. Another 6P for that Warrior C. Is that going to be enough? It's not going to be enough. Thank you very much for the fun, Maduka, and welcome to the Brojos. And we're gonna make it to 1,400 Brojos in the... Oh, we actually made it! Holy freaking lord! 1,400... Huh? 1,400 Brojos, guys. So followers for those who are not acquainted with the... Uh, with the... Uh, with the uh, semantic. Not the semantic, with the uh, the word. But yeah, thank you very much. Mugi versus Akihira and Mugi uh, deciding to resort to using Mr. Soul bad guy and not and not his uh, trademark Nagoriyuki. I think from reading what he wrote on Twitter, he said that the matchup was more or less in favor of Soul, so that might might make uh, that might ma make um, you know some reason for him to try to grind that Soul in order to get him to tournament level. After which he can use them, uh, him for unfavorable matchup. That being said, Mugi currently... Oh lord, almost got a hit right there. Here we go, the Bandit Bringer. No punish. Well, a little bit too far for the punish. Here we go, the Bandit Bringer. And Mugi going for the throw, but nice take by Akira. Here we go, the Reika. No extension by Akira. Ooh, baits at DP. I guess the hit on the 6 HS and this should be, yeah. Oh no! Actually drops it, but still, Mugi uh, resorting to using the DP, and unfortunately, Akira had been blocking. Okay, in the neutral, very nice 6P by Akira. <coughs> Here we go with... Wow, nice bar from Mugi, gets a jump in. Goes for the forest. Oh, Lord, and that 6P was the godlike. Ah, uh, he tries to go for the shimmy, but yeah, Akira smelling this out. Here we go with Air Akira, man. This is gonna do. Yes, yeah, probably. <laughs> no, it's not. Wow, what was that? That truly was so strange. Ah, and here we go. The take pressure from Mugi, man. Making good use of the four S from Sol. Ooh, I guess the two S counter it. Oh, but gets hit by the clone. First round goes to Akira. What is Mugi gonna do? Is he gonna change? Yes, he will. Mugi going back and forth with Nagoriyuki. Let's see how this pans out. Good stuff. <coughs> okay, here we go. Nagoriyuki time. So yes, Nagoriyuki is the main character of Mugi. He recently started dabbling a little bit in uh, Salt. Uh, for probably bad matchups, I suppose. But he decided to use Nagoriyuki against 
his fellow Nagoyuki user uh, Akira. And here we go with the clone. Ooh, catches the back dash with the, the further closest. Here we go with the Beyblade. Ah, Mugi trying to go for the command grab. The for closest. Gets grabbed by Akira. Wow, air Akira in the house shell. Unfortunately, couldn't quite uh, reach him. Wow, here we go with the grab. And here we go, the pressure from Mugi too far for the command grab, but it's still okay. We'll get the wall break. Whoa. And here we go with Akira this time around with the BRC, and this should do. Oh! I thought it was gonna go for the um, Wasuriki, but no, it just went for a straight 6 HS for the kill. Nicely done. Here we go to Rekka into wall break. Moogly currently in dire straits. <coughs> Down one game. Ooh, but it's okay. Ooh, almost got the juggle. Did get the juggle, actually. Oh, Lord. Front hook here by Moogly wants that corner positioning, but he's being wary of the fact that Akira has a lot of tension bar, two bars by the way, so it definitely makes matters a little bit more complicated. Very nice confirm from uh, Mugi into the Wasureyuki right away. Silva! Gonna get the wall break. Oh lord, and the forges! Akira resorting not to use his burst and wisely so by the way. Okay, one more round for Mugi to put one on the board. Good lord! Akira having Mugi right in the corner. Ooh, gets his backdash clipped by the clone though. <coughs> nice 5 HS. And the battle of the 5 HS. <laughs> Here we go to take pressure, man. Woo! Using the standing P for interrupting the Beyblade. And he should be able to get the kill. And he does. Boogie up one to one. And here we go with Moogie. Gets Fukio right into the Grab by Akira. Akira with the corner positioning. Ah, block. Just instant block that Beyblade. Okay, both players looking for it for an opening. The Naguriyuki, the Naguriyuki mirror is pretty funny. Forcing, basically forcing, forcing Naguriyuki to play um, like a footsie game. <laughs> it's actually pretty fun. And here we go, the command grab by Akira, and goes for a regular grab for the kill. Akira taking the lead. Actually, yeah, ooh, my bad, my bad. Uh, it's 1-1. One, one. We go to clone. And... Boogie with the corner positioning, gonna get the... Gonna get the... The, 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 the lockdown. Wow, that hits so high. And Moogie gonna get the wall break. Woo. And your bar for the kill by Moogie. Start the round, that's Wasuriyuki. And Gyambu with the quick confirms. That was sick. Good stuff. Gonna get the wall break with the uh, positive bonus. And with the fourth, Fukio gets clipped by the forest, though. Forcing Akira to pop the bird. And here we go with the awareness of Akira. Goes straight for the grab. Just like this takes the lead. The definite league lead. I'm sorry, 2 to 1. Duel 1. 
I'm gonna go grab a bottle of water. We'll be right back. Stuff from Mugi. Not out of this yet. Gets the first round. Gonna get the wall break and the wall splat. Well, the wall splat and the wall break. Nice uh, little fuzzy bonus, but Akira gets the. Well, guess not only the jump in, but also got the first blood post uh, wall break. But yeah, Mugi not out of this yet. Wow. Ooh. IRC in the house, yo. Oh, Lord. But Akira did get the golden burst. No anti-air. Wow, yeah, Akira tried to go for the BRC and gets clipped by the standing K into the 4S. Mugi puts another one on the board and we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Two to two. Started around with DDP. Good 4S. Clone command grab. And Akira first popped the burst to get out of this pressure. Mugi almost got the whiff punish with the Beyblade. <coughs> Here we go, the delayed command grab. Gets the closest counter hit. And should be able to get the kill. And he does! Wow, just like this, man. Mugi turning stuff around there. Good stuff, good stuff. Here we go with the concept to end the freaking command grab. You hate to see it. Man, grab again! <coughs> wow. Nice block from Akira. Almost got hit by the over it. Wow! And Mugi catching that back dash. Oh, no! Oh, damn it. Wow, nice back dash on the, the forest, man. That was sick. And Mugi going for the command grab and the 6 HS for the kill. And just like this, actually, Mugi takes it. So Subiri versus Arif. Let's see how this turns out. <coughs> hmm. And on to the match. Let's see how this turns out. I do believe uh, Subiri also eliminated Arif. Actually, either eliminated Arif during the last tournament or sent him in the loser. Whichever. But he also did it. Yeah. So let's see if Arif can manage. Ooh, very nice XP from Arif. Oh lord, who is ready for the air to air? That being said, Usuburi almost got. Uh, almost could hit RF with the roller. The roller blades. Wow. Nice TP from RF. Gets to the corner positioning. And the corner positioning and the corner pressure is unreal. Wow, that's unfortunate for him. Gets hit out of the air by the yo, -yo the, the rollers. That little fuss is out. Wow, nice to hit. Oh no, it's almost almost oh tried to go for a quick air seat. Yeah, the quick uh, dust. Wow, almost get the kill. Ah, air to air for Varif. It's hit by the yo yo toss. You hate to see it. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Wow. Ah, I saw a meteor. Ah, <laughs> push it for F. Gets hit by his own banana. And the combos are real, then the resets are real with Usui Buri. Is he gonna go for the safe jump? I oh, know that I'm dumb, he didn't get that. Oh no! Oh, forcing Arf to pop the burst. Arf looking a little bit lost, not gonna lie. Goes for the quick the tap dust. For corner positioning, no! Almost got it. Well, definitely got it, no? Ooh! And found it with Flame Roger, brah! 
good stuff from Musubi. He takes the first freaking match. That was a long ass match, by the way. <laughs> it was so freaking long. Into the far HS. Ah, too far to get anything off of it, unfortunately. <laughs> Here we go, the wake up golden DP. And RF ready for everything, bro. <laughs> Let's see how this spins out. And there's a buddy trying to keep that corner positioning, but RF. Or if really wants to get out and manages to do so. We go on to the second round. Nice blocks from Musuburi. Oh wow! And I didn't actually get hit by the burst. That is sick. I didn't even think that was a thing. And here we go, the Spearman, RF trying to keep Musiburi in the corner. Wow, ooh, the Meteors! RF got the corner positioning, he's got a ton of items out, but unfortunately Musiburi managed to get the Trump. It goes for the grab. It can go both ways, not gonna lie. Ah, but Usubudi getting hit by the aerial serene from RF. RF puts one on the board. Okay, so here we go back to the neutral. Usubudi forced to pop the burst. Usubudi with the corner positioning. Throws the year out, oh, but gets hit by the dive. Very nice blocks from Usubiri to not get hit by the overhead. We go the mix, mix, mix from RF. Uh, goes for the air to air, but nice blocks from Usubiri. Manages to block the tap dust as well. Wait, if we can look. Ah, that was a lot, well, but it's still okay. Managed to get the jump in. Got hit by the, the, the dive from Faust again, though. We go dive, dive. Woo! And Usubudi, yeah, trying to read the jumps from Arif, but Arif not giving it to him. Not for free. And here we go with the... Uh, my lord, so many options, so many stuff to pay attention to. Now on to the second round of this second, third match, actually. And here we go, we'll do sweet booty, throwing the euros out. She does have the ha the the hap mm -hmm. the, the afro bro. Big DP from Musubudi managed to get out of the pressure, but at what cost? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, out of the range of the meteorite. Wow, here we go to jump in. Nice 6 speed, too far to get in. Ooh! Oh, the straight for Roger, which takes it. Good stuff. Okay, on of it. Oh, Lord, that juggle was sick. How did it juggle? That was sick. Okay, here we go with the sweep. Now ah, finds the opening. Oh lord! Uh, RF will get the minions, but very nice setup from uh, Usubudi though. That's pretty sick. Air to air for RF, double air to air. Wow, the spacing of RF is just too good, bro. It's just too good, bro. Ah oh, lord, but Usubi not bad on defense at all. Or bring it back. Taking the lead. Currently sitting at 2 2 1. Ah, way too cold. Ooh. So, 
Here we go, the far HS, man. Very nice conversion from Musu Booty. Gonna get the wall break. Ah, oh, somebody getting grabbed by RFRF is gonna keep that corner position. You can, you can, you can definitely bet on it. Oh, yes, yeah, Usubri catch it catches Usubri uh, back dashing twice. Well, back dashing. The blocks of Usuguri have been pristine, man. He's been blocking all of them overhead. Not a single one not blocked. I tried to read something, but unfortunately, yeah. RF was on point. I think it's elite. Oh lord! Ah, oh, the quarter combos. Wow, <laughs> got the extension. No, oh, it actually dropped this combo. And it's fine because it caught RF off guard as well. It made it so that Usuburi could continue his combo afterwards. <coughs> that was sick. Oh, and just like this. Nice. Ah, Usubri finds the opening with the jumping into the grab. <coughs> nice juggles, man. Usubri definitely on point, bro. Wow. Here we go to run up grab by RF. And man, RF with the corridor pressure is sick. On the verge of eliminating, actually, Kusuguri. He's been having quite a nice run. <laughs> wow, and the confirms. Good stuff from Kusuguri. And we have a tie yet again, 2-2. Two two. So many ties these days on the Broad Look Up. Here we go, the close take pressure from RF. Wow, and that air to air though. Nice pickup from RF. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Did we force pop the bird, the, the DP? with the mix 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 oh he's got the meteor <laughs> i thought he was gonna go for the cross up to be sure and goes for the tab dust just like this rf is on a match point well, actually yep match point let's see how this spins up nice to us from musubin musubin definitely definitely getting a little bit angsty Nice block, though. Yeah. Nah. Or if... Oh, Lord! <laughs> Alright, with the wire he made, man. That was godlike. It was really nice hit on. And here we go, just one... Oh, no! That was a badly time save drum, but it's still fine. Wow! Still didn't get the kill! <laughs> and here we go the low. And the predictions are set. 
。ありがとうございました、ナネさん。And here we go! あ、薄いぶりさん、ありがとうございました。あ、グッドロイド !Here we go with あ、uh, the freaking quarter pressure from Mugi and うわ、Lord! Oh, so many 6Hs! <coughs> Mugi first pop the burst! Hmm. Whew, nice backdash from Mugi. Manages to get the whiff. Punish. Standing K. Very nicely done. Oh, wow, the check from Mugi, man. You can see that he's definitely knowledgeable of Nagoriyuki to know that you can actually punish doing this. Here we go with the Rekka. <coughs> oh, Lord! Ah,、uh, is this gonna. Oh, it is! Wow! Yambu, man, the cojones of this man. Ah, Yambu gets. Oh, this is gonna kill? Yes, it is! Wow! <coughs> That did a ton of damage. Holy freaking lord. Wow, Mugi yet again for Spot the Bird. Gets the Rekka for the corner carry. Oh, tried to go for the end, still goes for the command grab and gets it. <coughs> wow. Oh! And Mugi takes the first. On to the next battle! No, no! Rigo Gyombu already popping the burst. <laughs> Gets clipped by the forest. <clears throat> wow. With that 6 speed though. Here we go with the quick cancels from McGee. Wow, that w i t h punish using the Beyblade though. Wow, Mugi getting the kill. Definitely not set on losing right now. Gets the command grab. Wow. That being said, Mugi does drop the 6HS quite a bit. And Gambu will do well splat. And get the positive bonus. Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> That counter overdrive, though. Good stuff from Mugi. Oh, catches back dash from the forest. And goes double Fukyo. Good stuff from Mugi. Takes the lead. 2 to 0. Wow. Nice reach from Yambu. And man, Yambu. Yambu, man. The play does not want to go out without a bang. And gets the kill. Ah, Yambu with the corner positioning. Wow. No, no. And Mugi, man. Ooh, almost got that burst bait. Oh no, too far to get the final hit, though. Okay, finally, YRC. I read the grab and went for the back S. Good stuff. From Moogie. Let's see how this spins out. Catches the back dash with the 2K. A big counter hit from Yambu. Couldn't quite get the well spot. 
Gets the 4 HS. No. Ah, uh, gets the command grab. And Moogie Man on the verge of taking it goes for the BRC and manages to take it. Good stuff from Moogie. Takes it a clean 3 to nil, by the way. That is, uh. That is, uh. No. Good stuff. You're ready to rumble. So, this is the uh, second match of this loser's bracket. An early type already managed to have our F pop the burst. What the hell is this song? I wonder what song it is. What is it? Revive the song. What's that? Oh, God. Ah, I forget. It's, uh, it's a Samurai Showdown. I was wondering what the hell was that? It's a good song. Not for now. And here we go with the Alpha Blade by Early Time. Gonna get the wall break? Yes, we will. Hmm. Good lord. Ah, nice jump back right there from RF, but gets. Uh, with punish by early time. <laughs> Win for us, Mugi. <laughs> Young Boo cheering on for Mugi. Yeah, Mugi. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a long time that he didn't win the Brojo Cup, so that would be definitely great for him if he did. That being said, we have a lot of killers in this tournament, bro. We have early time, Ty. Obviously, we have Mugi. And uh, well, it's just it's just crazy. RF, I said. Oh. Uh, I said RF, yeah. Uh, so many great players, man, today. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, after this one, we will have... Oh, this is the third match of the movie. Yeah. After this one, we shall go to the the winner's final, actually. Okay, okay, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice jump in by RF. Good game, Yamu. Good game it was indeed. Nice jump in from early type. From from a from part. Wow that air to air though. <laughs> early type slipping on the banana. We're playing Mario Kart. Wow, it's a nice XP from early type. You're doing one too many. Oh Oh lord, no entire. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Early type running straight into a weight. Oh no, force back on the ground because of the meteor. Good stuff by RF, man. Just to take the first game. Here we go with the overhead, the spear. Wow, nice juggle off of the, the head explosion. The head bomb. Good lord. Ah, early type triggering a little Faust. Ultra Try, come on! Okay, early type currently at the live deficit and a huge one at that. Needs to make a comeback happen during this specific set, or else it is going to be increasingly harder for early type to get close to RF. And RF using the items to hit tight here. Early time, this is something I've never seen. Wow. Nice conversion from early time. Yeah, 
and really type pushing off in the corner. Wow, nice far as it actually reaches him. Oh, you really go with your breath. And actually, early type staying alive. Still down one match, so getting this one would be crucial for his mental, but we'll see how it happened. How it goes. <laughs> nice overhead by early type. Forces uh, RF to pop the golden burst. Ooh, yeah, that's unfortunate for early type. He got the opening, but. But. Unfortunately for him, there was a bomb behind him. Ototoy, come on! Nice damage uh, from Chip to RF, all things considered. And here we go with uh, the kill by early type. Manages to put one on the board. Definitely not out of this yet. And here we go with the hero BGM from Dragon Ball Budokai. Let's see if early type can become the hero. <laughs> nice jump in by early type. Ooh. Oh lord, got clipped by the six. Oh no, and the spear by RM. Oh lord. And here we go with the juggle by RF manages to get the first round of this third match. Here we go with the Alpha Blade, the juggle. The early tap goes straight for the overdrive. Wow, you're going to close this counter hit, man. And early type straight into the overdrive yet again. Oh, tried to go for the low, but man, RF was, was aware. He knew. Ah, you're going to OTV and RF, though. Even though he lost so much life, like a couple of sequences before still managed to pull the uh, to pull the um the comeback this is really impressive Arf with the two to one if he wins this match here he makes his way to the loser semi-final nice opening by rf oh of course early tap to pop the burst and we go with the wake up burst but early type finds the opening. Unfortunately drops the combo. Oh, come on! Look at early type not out of this yet. Yep. Got the first round of this fourth match. And here we go with early type, and again the overdrive in the corner. We go with the forest from RF. And I'm gonna get the wall break. Wow. RF on set points, man. Still, early type did a very good job in this whole sequence. 
Here we go with early tap, trying to make his way towards Aura, but it's actually pretty freaking hard to get close to him. Here we go with the spear, and we're playing ping pong now. Wow. Oh, our early type getting the overhead. <laughs> and little flaps. <laughs> little flaps. Little fast, man. Causing problems to everybody. Wow. Our early type. He got the YRC and gets the kill. Is it going down to the wire? Yes, it is. It is, it is. 2-2, two two, ladies and gentlemen. We are going down to the last match of this set. <coughs> hmm. Yeah. Ever played Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Marisa? Very, very fun game. Good lord. It had a crazy good OS, uh, OS. The BGMs of Budokai are one of my favorite in any fighting game. Even though they're pretty basic, I guess. Well, not so much basic as... that. There, there is a nostalgic factor to it, I guess. But I really like the BGMs of them. There's another one of Dragon Ball Z Budokai that I like, but I forgot. Yeah, man, that's exactly it. There's another one of Budokai absolutely adore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it rip. Uh, 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 RF did it. Okay, RF find the lead. Uh, uh, uh. uh, this one is also very good music. So I'm gonna let it go. Let it go. Let it on, I guess. Ah, damn it. Probably not gonna find me. Uh, maybe I can go. Music, 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 music. Alright. Wow, and the perfect for Mr. R. Oh, T.Y. is gonna stick with uh, Giovanna, which is surprisingly enough. Ah, it's understandable though. Where is my. Ah, more. And T.Y. already forced to pop the burst. That was very quick. Okay, my favorite Budokai song. Let me check. Obviously, I cannot hear it uh, right there. I'm gonna put it on there. I gotta remember the name. I gotta remember the name. I'll remember it. Okay, quick first round from TY though. Gumbaru no da. I have so many freaking songs in my in my in my uh, soundtrack. Not my soundtrack. My 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 playlist. Good lord! I have like 1,500 tracks of fighting games. Like almost only fighting games. Good lord! Wow! And first round, first match goes to Ty. Extremely convincing. Yo, Krisu! I pizza and playing a lot of enemy fighters and being a chill guy, I dislike being a jerk. Well, thank you, Krisu, for the very detailed introduction. I hope you I hope you like it here then. And don't worry, we're pretty chill here as well. I absolutely love pizza as well, and I do like anime to sort of, to a certain extent, but uh I'm 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 very welcoming of uh of people who actually like anime, so welcome to the stream, bro. Oh, let's see. Budoka. Oh yeah, it, it does sound like it. You're right, you're right, you're right. That actually does sound like it. Okay, mine is the battle theme. Oh, which one is it? Ah, good lord. It's not in... Yeah, it's not in this one. Ah, world tournament. Here you go. Got it. I got it. Damn it. 
There you go. I'm gonna put mine later. Thank you very much for the follow, Kurisa. Ah, uh, damn it, damn it. I will, I'm so confused right now. I play Kai and shit, but I want to play Mei, but hate charge inputs. What do I do? That's a very good question. I think you can... Well, if you hate... Imp I suppose that if, if you hate, uh, how do you call it? If you hate, like, uh, charge characters, you can always, like, you know, grind it out until you get uh, enough, like, at ease playing them that it feels natural. But it's not something that is gonna come overnight. So it all depends on whether you're motivated enough to, like, stick to it and to grind it out and to get acquainted to it with it, I guess. That would be my uh, advice to you. But yeah, if you want to play May, you should try out. So I'm always in... I, I'm of the... The school of thoughts of uh, you should play and try characters that appeal to you, and even if their gameplay doesn't necessarily fit with you, anyways, you should still give it a try. Uh, like at least give it like a couple of weeks. You play like a couple of weeks, even if you don't like necessarily like completely understand the gameplay at first. At least you'll get a, a better feeling and understanding if you stick with them for a couple of weeks. I feel. So just give it a couple of weeks, and uh, then you. Then you can really determine whether or not you want to continue down this uh, this path or go back to your original main. I feel like this is uh and the score is not correct. Here we go. <laughs> mm. I will try that. I guess I should, should yeah, the lab is definitely a prerequisite. But yeah, Hagiara bringing it back, here we go! Two to one, Hagiara not out of this yet. Very nice, man. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with all Mozu with punish from TY man, sticking to Hagiara like you, like Glue doesn't want him to, yeah, uh, doesn't want to let him put a single minion on the floor. But here we go with the corner pressure, Hagiara tried man, tried so hard to get the entire butt, couldn't quite get it. Yeah, this is my favorite Budokai um, background music, this one, by far. Good lord! A ah, very nice sweep right there. Ooh, I think I get a good hit. No, he did it. Wow, I get a going for the fully charged dust. Oh no, he drops it. Why do you drop it? I get a but still gets the six P, so it's fine. It's fine. Woo. Uh, Ty man, who gets the point? Hey, oh lord, and this is gonna do. No, it's not. Wow, I tried to go for the BRZ. That was sick. Oh, get the minion! Oh, get the juggle! Almost get the juggle! I tried to go... Oh, very nice 6P from Aguila, man. And gets the 2K for the kill. Very nicely done. Anyways, dang, this is winner's final. Who's in losers right now? So, in losers, we have... We have... Uh, we have Mugi and RF. So, the top 8 is gonna be... The top 8 is... TY... Early type, Hagiara, Gyambu. And then in the losers, we had Mugi, uh, Akihira, Usiburi, and Orif. But right now, the top four is these two gentlemen on screen right now, and Mugi and Orif. Yeah. So it's a pretty packed. Uh... Ah, you can see the bracket. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, you can. If you. Yeah. For anybody who's interested, by the way, of the bracket, just type bracket in the chat, and the bot will take care of the rest. Oh, again, here we go with the corner pressure, man. I get a man. I get a man. I gotta go for the grab and the kill. I got a two to two against Ty on the verge of get of making his way to the grand final. Holy freaking lord! Is I gotta gonna do the impossible and send Ty and the losers? That would be sick. Okay, here we go. Oh lord, Ty getting hit by the minions, bro. What is Ty gonna do? This is gonna be yeah, ooh Lord and the uh, air grab. And here we go, yeah, it is. Oh, pressure time. Ah, but yeah, you can see Ty sticking to Hagiara like glue. Does not want to give him a single leeway. Oh, goes for the grab. If Hagiara gets out of this, it's over for yeah. If Hagiara gets out of pressure and puts a minion, I think it's over for Ty. Yeah, oh nice check from oh no not like this and put oh wow 
Oh, I get him wrong. No, I get him. Wanted to read the YRC, but TY was very, very, very reasonable right there. Did not use the YRC. Oh, no. The Trova, oh, man. Ooh. Trova again. No, what are you doing? I think Hagiara wanted to go for the 2D, but unfortunately, man. So it's TY and Hagiara and winners and Mugi and Arf and losers, exactly. And, oh, good lord, for Hagiara, he was... This is RF, let's see how this pans out. So usually, uh, not gonna lie, but it's usually RF who ends up winning this encounter all the time. So we'll see if RF is uh, capable of uh, keeping, keeping the status quo. Or if Mugi can change the uh, stuff up, we'll see. Oh wow, poor Boogie, yeah, yeah. landing straight on the bomb. Nice sick pressure from RF. I'm betting my money on RF. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. Wow. Oh lord, Woo! Saved by the bomb. Hopefully for him, he didn't get hit by the meteor. Oh, Gary go to jump in, but the hammer, man, the hammer. It was hammer time. Uh, the bomb almost got hit by the bomb. Oof. And this is death. Yeah, this is death. Yeah, this was death. He had a freaking TikTok bongo right on his uh, on his wig. Faust has such absurd rage he does. Yeah, especially in this matchup, it's really not easy for. I feel like this is one of the uh, unusual uh, Nagoriyuki bad matchups. I guess you wouldn't expect like Faust to lose to move Earth. Uh, to win against uh, against Sagori Yuki, but I really feel like it's the kill. Yeah, that's what I think too as well. Excellence. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if it's the case. Well, most Nagori Yuki players that I talk to, be it like Japanese or uh, Westerners or whatnot, they tend to all agree that like this is a freaking horrible matchup for for Nago, which is pretty surprising, but it, it's understandable too. I mean, Nago, there's not many characters who can outrange him, and uh, but Faust is definitely these this type of character. Not just that, but Faust also has projectile and assists in the way of uh, like his head bombs or or the uh, or a little Faust or you know stuff like this. And I feel like it's uh, it's yeah it's exponentially harder for uh, Nagoriki players when they have to deal with a Faust who's very proficient as you at using all of the different options that he has, which is definitely the case of RF and, and Nage. So yeah. As you can see, yeah, it's ooh, ah, the air to air in favor of RF, man. Wow. RF, yeah, no, no, RF never jokes around, bro. He's always at 100%, bro. Oh, yeah, RF really doesn't get around. He's a lab monster, too. That was just so hard for me to keep track of, yeah, me too. Me too, me too. I play Eno, and I gotta say that, yeah, Faust is not a very good matchup against her, in my opinion. Ah, oh, Lord, look at all of them overhead, bro. Look at all these fuzzies! Yeah, the RNG up. Uh, whoo! That was close. Little Faust! And Fa! Alright, going for the command grab. Here we go with the wig is on fire. How many wigs? How many wigs? He's doing RF things. <laughs> He's creating RNG. Any character who can put obstacles in neutral is a hard matchup for Nago. Like Faust, Jack, we had a full investment, Zato, Asuka. So I can definitely agree with that. <laughs> I, I definitely do agree with that. Hmm. I always like the Nago matchup, even if I play Eno. You know? uh, I always, I always love fighting uh, Nago. It's such a, it's so funny to fight against Nago, in, in, in my opinion. I don't understand why people hate fighting against uh, the character. Well, he wasn't fun in uh, before he got nerfed. He wasn't very fun, but now that he got nerfed, he's actually very fun to play against. Because it's always like a gamble for him to uh, use too much of his blood meter, then it's like, you know, it's basically it's basically bye-bye time for him or good night. Axel, I don't really agree with, but fair enough since you think that. I think, yeah, Axel is definitely a bad match for Nago in my opinion. Like, it's like a decent Axel will always keep Nago out with the greatest of ease, <laughs> if one might say. I feel. Yeah. And there's so much like stuff that Nago needs to pay attention to. Sickle Storm and all of the freaking bullshit. Because Sickle Storm goes through the, the clone, right? 
just this by itself is like super strong against Nago because the clone is supposed to be an anti anti projectile and I think that uh, then it, somebody needs to confirm by the way but I think that the sickle storm goes through the clone which makes it very hard for Nago to just play brain dead because uh, if he doesn't pay attention he's gonna get hit by sickle storm regardless of whether he has a clone or not to cover his uh, his advance but then again, yeah, somebody needs to confirm that Sickle Storm goes through uh, the, the clone, which I believe it does. Hmm. Anyways, here we go with RF Man bringing it back and gets the kill with the mix, mix, mix chip damage. Mugi finally taking a round. Yeah, he did. But he lost it. He lost the, the, the next one. Nice 6 speed though from Mugi. Here we go with. Oh lord. The corner carry. Nice interrupt by RF. <laughs> Got the bound. Wow, oh, he gets hit by his own bomb. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Or oh, going straight for the command throw. Nice stuff for. Oh, Lord. So many fuzzies, bro. Got. Oh. Here we go. Sandwich. So much shit going on. Ah, uh, get on now. No, Moogie! Come on, RF. Win me them glorious channel points. I think you will. Yeah, this is pretty much checkmate, I feel. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's... <clears throat> this is gonna be very, very... Oh, yeah, it's over. Good stuff for RF, man. That matchup of the freaking... Uh, don't worry, I still continue streaming. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, well, tournament as well. It happens, it's bi-weekly from now. So I alternate between Street Fighter 6 and Guilty Gear Strive. So please, uh, not please, but I mean, no, not please. But if you feel like it, um, I encourage you to check both of these tournaments. Especially since uh, now, during Street Fighter 6, we have uh, our good friend L'Ancien, who is co-commentating on the Street Fighter 6 version of the tournament. So yeah, it's definitely funnier. <laughs> we have more interactions, not just me. Just, not just me commentating with my boring voice. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. This time around, damn, Aura definitely looked pretty good right now. Wow. Ooh, is he gonna get it? Yes, he is. Good stuff from RF. Got the kill. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go with Hayalo. Oh, uh, just running after RF, man. Ouch. <laughs> or getting the overhead. <clears throat> wow. Uh, two minions in the house, yo. Ah, uh, that freaking dive kick, man. The dive kick of freaking Faust. Of Laust. Good mix, mix, mix. From our. Oh, Lord. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wow, that 6 HS, though. Entire was sick. Oh, nice 6 speed. From Hagera, unfortunately. Messes up his midi. Earth's neutral game is too good, man. This guy's a... He's a wizard, bro. <laughs> I'm a wizard, is I'm terrific. <laughs> he's a freaking wizard. Arf is a wizard, man. He's a... He's the lab monster, too, and a grind monster as well. Like, I think he has... I feel... I, I forgot to check his... His um, his, his current level in, in Guilty Gear Strive, but... It wouldn't surprise me if he's over, like, two 200,000, I think. Yeah, two hundred thousand? No more than that. Two hundred million? I forgot. I need. We, let's check his uh, his um, his level. But he must have something completely absurd. Ah, oh, it's crazy, man. Anyways, RF takes the first uh, map on his way uh, potentially to the to the grand finals, which would be pretty cool. Oh no, no punish right there. Ah, nice whip punish. Recovery funny. Okay, here we go with the little minions. Very nice 6 speed right there from Hagiala. Ah, no, entire. Ah, the bomb is here. Need to pay attention to the bomb. Nice tick. I think he's in 20k plus, yeah. Along with the likes of Ram. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Wouldn't it surprise me if he's the highest, like, uh, leveled player in the game? In, in the, yeah, in ranking currently. 
That's crazy, yeah. I, I don't know how these guys find the motivation to grind as often as what they do. But then again, this is uh, his job, by the way. RF is a professional player. So I'm pretty sure it's his job. He's a streamer as well. Uh, I don't know if he, if it's his sole source of income. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's the case. Uh, FAB is definitely, this is his sole source of income, so... But uh, I'm not so sure about RF. Might be the case. I mean, he is sponsored by Amaterasu, which is a firm that also sponsors the like of... Uh, who is it? Damn it, I forgot. The Grand Blue vs. Uh, player. A very nice dude, by the way. I kind of forgot his name. Um, but he fun uh, they sponsor him as well. They sponsor a whole lot of uh, people as well, so... Yeah, definitely. Anyways, uh, just... That was just for info. Uh, nice there to wear from RF, man. This dude has been on point trying to kill as many minions as humanly possible. And here we go with Fuzzy City. Yeah, I think he does stream twice a day almost daily. Yeah, yeah. oh, he definitely streams daily. And for a sick amount of time, too. It's crazy. I mean, if I was paid to play uh, Guilty Gear Strat, I think I would as well. So, yeah. But I, I'd play it regardless, but I mean, like, if I was paid to play Guilty Gear Strive as much as what RF is doing, I, I would probably do it, yeah. I'd probably do it. But yeah, it's just not, yeah. I, I'd probably not be able to grind grind as much as what RF is doing for free. I'm probably not gonna do it. <laughs> I don't have that motivation at all. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. With the corner combo and the corner pressure. Okay, good stuff from Hagiala, man. Arf has to hold it. Oh, he gets opened by the, the little minions. The dominions. Oh, Lord. And here we go with... Oh, no! Didn't get the kill. Oh, the mix, mix, mix. No, too far to get the hit. Definitely helps that he's a veteran GG player. So apart from being a pro, GG... Has been his main game for decades. Yeah, yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I, I, he played something else also then. Uh, Guilty Gear, I think. I think he dabbled a bit in cough as well, if I'm correct. Not quite sure. I don't think he took an interest in uh, Street Fighter, though. Okay, back to the neutral again with the dive, bro. Oh, Lord! I yell like reading that man grab attempt. Yes, the grab. Oh, but Little Faust is here to mess everybody's plan. Always here to mess everybody's plan. Freaking Little Faust. Nobody likes you. Oh, nobody likes the minion either. No entire, no 6P. Oh, Lord. Oh, here we go with the grab and Agyala takes the lead. Agyala with the lead. Two to three, two to one. Sorry. Oh, no, not this one. Definitely uh, helps it. Yeah, uh, he's a top. Oh, Marvel versus Capcom. Okay, there's not many Marvel versus Capcom players in Japan, so it's actually uh, it's actually cool to know that he was part of it. Nice six P right there from Hagiara. And I'm getting that golden burst. That sweet, sweet golden G, golden B. Sorry. Oh Lord, no end there. Hagiara, what are you doing? Ooh, air to air, and here we go. You have to hold it. Your wig is on fire! You don't need no water, let that freaking wig just burn! Burn! Freaking wig, burn! Oh, and we're in the corner again. Uh, and you still have a wig! And RF still with the freaking wig police! Ah, uh, nice jump in! Ooh! Use the RC to make it safe, try to go under. Nice little. Oh, Lord! Man, he's so on point with killing the minions, man. It's so crazy. <coughs> RF's last uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament joined Wisconsin Gaming Party last month. Okay, that's cool to know. That's pretty cool to know. Nice trivia. Oh, Lord. No, oh, I get on the verge, man. I'm taking this one as well. <coughs> wow, and Hayata on set point. What is RF going to do? Let's see how this went up. Some Street Fighter 4 music, Mother Humper. Okie dokie, Brendan Cookie. No, no one home. Oh, good lord. Oh, lord. 
What is going on? Oh no! No, I have got the freaking... Got the freaking trumpet! Again, a trumpet! Don't let him get the trumpet! Don't let him get the trumpet! And he got the trumpet. Trumpet! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, it's back. Back to the corner time. Ooh, here we go to the YRC, but I got, I got air to air, and yeah, smart choice not to use the burst right here. Hmm. I could possibly see him going uh, for one at Evo this year. Oh yeah, that, that would be cool. Damn, I guess Jacko is a menace. Definitely one of the. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I guess is no slouch, bro. He's uh definitely one of the best. Uh, one of the best uh, Jacko in Japan, but the best currently is actually not him. Uh, there is one called Migu Migu, Migu Migu something, and he's actually a uh, illustrator. Well, a uh, he draws uh, freaking um, illustrations and whatnot, and he's very strong. He's uh, I think he's the strongest like uh, the strongest Jacko player in Japan. Migu Migu something, very strong one. And then you also have Caffeine. Very strong uh, Jackal player. You have another one who doesn't participate to the Brojo Cup though. And his name is uh, uh, Yamase. Yamase also very strong. But I still think that yeah, Hagiara, Hagiara, Caffeine, and Migumigo are top three in Japan currently. Extremely strong. Yeah, here you go, here you go, yeah. Ah, uh, Nidaime is also. Oh yeah, I forgot about Nidaime. So, 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 so. Migumigo, Dokkois, and Shosan are very strong. え、2代目ゲニジンさんもめっちゃくちゃ強いんです。そうそうそう。ああ、あの方も忘れてました、2代目さん。そうそうそうそうそう。失礼しました。失礼しました。失礼しました。もう全然もう忘れてました。ごめ
Because, um... Yeah, because he's definitely doing a lot less. Even Caffeine, man. Caffeine definitely improved that well. Uh, even though today Caffeine didn't participate, he is also a very good uh, Dunkle player. Both actually, uh, both managed to reach Grand Finals uh, uh, since Hagerai is in Grand Finals today as well. But yeah, unfortunately, none of them was able to, uh, to take the, the dough home. <laughs> well, to win it back, you know, to win it completely, unfortunately. Hopefully, uh, one of them will be able to do so. We'll see. Yeah, the only problem with uh, what with uh, this this is uh, Hagerai has a very hard time to keep Ty off of his back. <laughs> Oh, Lord. oh, again, here we go. Oh, T.Y. Man is relentless. Relentless, and this is a... Oh, no, not like this. Not like this, Hagiara. Yeah, T.Y. already won on the board, bro. That was great. It's not over, though. Not over till it's over. Let's, uh, let's keep some hope. I shall see how this goes. Wow, nice. Almost got the follow-up. Ooh, we got the closest counter hit, though. Ah, oh, no, it's great by the 2D counter hit, though. Woo! It's counter hit city, bro. Ah, nice, nice stuff, nice stuff. Okay, I get out. Uh, trying to find his mark. Doesn't to, doesn't want to overextend. Gets it by the Nasante, though. This is going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> wow, this is death, by the way. This is definitely death. Good stuff from TY on a steamroll. Wow, nice 6P though. No, no, yes. Okay, here we go. Ah, I got the closest counter. Wow, he's got the football bomb. The football hit, the kick, sorry. The football bomb. What the hell is a football bomb? The football kick. Ah, the, I'm sorry, for you Americans, the, the soccer kick. I'm sorry. <laughs> but ah, you do, uh, do, uh, you do actually have like actual uh, use of your foot in American football. So I could actually see the, say the football kick. Uh, and here we go! Oh lord! Nice jump out of uh, Hayata, but gets hit by the Fuente and also grab. Good lord! Uh, here we go with the grab. Grab loops all over again. We're playing Street Fighter 6. Oh lord! Oh, I do with punish though. Uh, Nasante. No Puente. Very nice air grab. No six. Oh no 6P! No, I know 6P, Hagrara! <laughs> okay, here we go. Woo! We go with high yeah, bro. We all watched Ted Lost, so we understand. Perfect. That's good to know. That's good to know. Oh Lord! Here we go the wall break. I get up. Oh no! Oh, and the titty for the kill! I get not out of this yet. Not out of this yet. Get on to the next one. And already T.Y. with the corner positioning. Oh. Oh, you can see Hagiara struggling to get out of this misery. Gets hit by the Nisante, gets grabbed yet again. Oh no, and the closest to catch the back dash. And this is gonna be kill. This is gonna be death. <coughs> death by Snoo Snoo. Oh no! That 2D counter has reached my soul. Oh, and again with the grab by T.Y. Man. This man has been an absolute menace in the corner. Oh, and the BRC combo. Optimization station. Well, you want to use your 2D? I have a 2D as well. Wants to say I get up, but already he's in the corner. Oh, wow. What the hell was that? That was such a quick freaking third round, though. T.Y. with the lead. 2-0. to 2-1, to one, sorry. A potential final match of this tournament. <coughs> oh lord. And here we go with the take pressure again from TY with the Nasante, not the Nasante, the, the Sepultura. Oh lord. <laughs> not the Puente, not the Sepultura. I keep freaking uh, mixing them up. Yeah, the Sepultura is the. The Puente is the, um, the pen drill. Bro, TY is just insane. This man never feels some ah, man. That's TY, bro. That's why he won a major. Well, not just one major, by the way. But yeah, that's why he's so impressive. Okay, well, we're on uh, we're on tournament point, guys. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Hagiara can make something happen. Tournament point! <coughs> Hagiara just struggling to get out of the corner, bro. Wow! 
Oh lord. Ah, nice extending HK. That was cool. No! TY is like too much on point, bro. TY is on caffeine. Oh lord, and this is gonna be it. And just like this, TY is your Brojo Cup number 85 champion.